This is our 38 foot Forest River Hemisphere Light Camper. We tow it with a half ton pickup, half ton Ford. Uh, it's 8,000 pounds empty and about 11,000 gross, but with a tow package we can actually tow that with our half ton. Up front we've got some storage. This is the smaller storage area and inside here we keep all the sewer stuff and of course there's the uh, 1000 watt inverter that powers the uh, refrigerator. There's the water heater and this is more storage. This can access uh, outside or underneath the bed from the inside. So this is right under the, the master bed. A lot of storage there. And here's all your water hookups and your water flush along with a shower, an external shower. It's all aluminum construction, so when you look down the sides, you don't see any waviness. Um, you don't have to worry about the, you know, water rot and stuff like that that you would with wood, wood construction. There's all your TV hookups for satellite or park cable. It's a big camper. And there's the model. It's a 326 RL. And as it, it shows there, it's aluminum construction, all bonded. Little external power. It's got external speakers too for the stereo. And it's wired for, ready for solar, if you want to add solar onto it. Here's the other side of the front storage, the bigger side. There's the load leveling anti-sway hitch that of course comes with it along with the rest of the your plumbing hookup and cable and, and such. We keep all that stuff in there. Here's what it looks like with, this, with the slides out. There's two slides on this side and a single slide, a big slide on the other side along with the awning. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look inside. It's very roomy. This is the pantry area. The pantry is very deep. Uh, it's got shelves on top and bottom and uh, and very deep. It holds a, a lot of stuff. There's all your controls and gauges. There's also a remote for the controls so you can do it from outside. We went with a dinette set rather than a a bench because uh, we want to be able to take the chairs and move them around for entertaining when we have extra people over. We have storage above the recliners. There's storage everywhere in this thing. And here's the pair of leather recliners. Got a little armrest with some storage in there. There's room behind the chairs too for more storage. And of course they recline. Very comfortable. Nice for just uh, lounging, watching TV or watching the fireplace. Stereo, again you can select whether you want the uh, speakers to work inside, outside, or both. The TV will pull out and pivot one way or the other if you want. We usually leave it like that. And the fireplace is electric so you can just turn it on for ambiance or you can turn it on for heat. I, I love the look of the stone fireplace too. On the ceiling you've got the antenna, your lights, air conditioning and heating vents and as you can see uh, everything's in good shape there. There's the, that's a hide -a bed leather hide -a bed We bought the camper to, to retire and go south in the winter and we ended up uh, buying a house after two weeks so we we only have ever used the thing on three different trips uh, maybe for about a total of four weeks uh, as far as use. The kitchen's really nice. We like the big peninsula. It gives us room for to put food out there. The sink is huge and the faucet, uh, you can pull that out and use it as a shower, a squirter, or just the, the regular water. And that's a cutting board also. The uh, microwave, range hood, and everything are basically as you'd expect. Stainless steel, which is nice. And the stove looks like we've never used it, but, but we do. My wife cooks a lot, and on the trips that we were on, 
Uh, we definitely use the stove and the oven. They both work very well. But um, as you can see, we've kept it clean. And it's a domestic refrigerator, all electric. Uh, cools really well. A big ice box, big capacity on the refrigerator. So we do a, a lot of cooking, which means we carry a lot of food around. And that's why we wanted this particular setup. I think you'll like it too. The inverter powers all this, and it powers through your trailer hitch. A lot of storage in the kitchen, both under the sink, under the peninsula, and then you've got uh, three deep drawers. And here's the bathroom. Good sized bathroom, so you're not standing on the toilet or anything crazy like that. Nice vanity and uh, medicine cabinet and stuff. The corner shower. Uh, has a nice finish to it with a vent and uh, skylight above it and the nozzle mounts on the wall or you can hold it by hand either way. The water pump is underneath the vanity so you just take the front off of that when it's time to winterize it. Just open up that door and everything's right in there easy to get at. And a coat rack by the door and then we walk into the bedroom. The bedroom's really big with the slide out. It's a king size bed. That was one of the options we wanted. Uh, we really like the extra room. Storage above it. Very comfortable bed. You can lift that up to get at the, some of the storage under the bed or get at it from outside. Six drawer um, dresser is really nice. Gives a lot of room for clothes. You can see we've actually got room to walk around in the bedroom. And then the front closet is is mammoth. There's lots of storage room for hanging clothes on the sides. There's a shelf up top, a tower in the middle, shelves down on the bottom, plus additional floor space in the closet. So this is where you can store all your goodies. Looking back you get a little better idea of the size and floor space that's in the bedroom. Skylight, hook up for a television if you want that. and mirror for dressing and then you can go back into the bathroom. Like I say, we've used the camper very little. It's never been smoked in. Um, so we're, you know, only for, for maybe about four weeks I think is our, our total usage of the camper. A lot of, lot of living area in this and that was our, our big draw for it. So hope you'll enjoy it.